Hello there! My name is Tanner, and I'd like to welcome you back to my YouTube channel. So, question for you. Uh, by a show of hands, how many of you have actually read the D&D Monster Manual? You know, aside from me. Yeah, my guess is that's a question that only a small niche of my viewership can actually answer. But, y'all might be surprised that many of the entries in that manual are actually based on real-life mythical creatures, such as dragons, chimeras, minotaurs, and the like. But then you've also got things that are purely for D&D, like shambling mounds, beholders, and Yuan-Ti. However, one monster from the D&D Monster Manual that you might not believe was actually based on a mythical creature is the Tarask. However, the monster in the Monster Manual and the real-life mythological creature are rather different from each other. On the one hand, you've got a mythical creature from France that is chimerical in nature, and on the other hand, you've got a large dinosaur-like creature with a carapace that can reflect any magic spells cast at it. Now, now, I know, I can already hear you asking, what does that have to do with this video? Well, the answer for that question is, I will be explaining to you the original story of the Tarask in detail. Now, I already summarized the story in one of my earlier mythology videos, link up in the cards and in the description down below, but this story will have a few more details than that one. Now, like with all of my other mythology videos, link to the playlist up in the cards and in the description down below, I will try to keep this story as close to the original as I can, but I will also add in a little bit of creative license when and where I think it's needed. So please make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below, because that always helps. And without further ado, here is the original story of the Terrible Tarrasque. Once upon a time, a long, long, long time ago, the French town of Nerluc was being terrorized by a monster stalking the banks of the nearby Rhone River between Arles and Avignon. Now, the original Tarasque was said to be a chimerical mashup of various mundane creatures, having a lion's head, an ox's body, a tortoise's shell, six bear legs, and a scorpion tail. Yikes. Now, the monster made quite a name for itself by, among other things, attacking any boats that tried to cross the Rhone River. And so, the people of Nerluc begged and pleaded St. Martha patron saint of travelers, household servants, and maids, and sister to the biblical Lazarus, yes, that Lazarus, and asked her to help them take care of this monster. Saint Martha made her way to the river to confront the Tarasque, who at that moment was in the middle of devouring a man. The monster, as it caught sight of her, charged, but she stood her ground. When it reached her, St. Martha rebuked the beast, sprinkling it with holy water, and then pooping it on the snoot with a crucifix. At that precise moment, the beast was tamed, and so she tied her girdle around its neck and brought it back to the town. The villagers, understandably, were still very frightened of the beast, and threw rocks and spears at it. However, the monster, being tamed, didn't fight back and, due to the injuries it sustained, was killed. St. Martha rebuked and scolded the villagers, for they murdered a tamed and redeemed creature that didn't fight back. The villagers, ashamed of what they did, renamed the town Tarascon in honor of the creature, and each villager was then converted to Christianity. And there we have it! That was the original story of the Terrible Tarrasque. 
If you like this video and you want more, please give this video a like and subscribe down below so you don't miss any new videos. Also, if you have any other ideas that you want to see in future videos, please leave your thoughts in the comments down below and who knows, it might just happen. Alright, well that's all the time I have for this video, so I will see you all next week with a brand new one. See you guys then.